So I think I may have found one of the most unique and interesting upgrades that you can do to your Jeep Wrangler JL. And uh, it is a smaller object, but it makes such a big difference. We're gonna be installing this on the Jeep right now. Let's go. This guy right here, this is a Android box for your vehicle. I believe this is called the CarPlay Android Auto. It also works with Apple CarPlay, not just Android Auto. The interesting thing is though, if you guys have like the newer uh, Jeeps and stuff like that with the infotainment system, it already has Apple CarPlay, but this product right here will actually upgrade that Apple CarPlay and gives you more features. So that's pretty cool. If you're interested, you can check it out down below. It's from onecarstereo.com, but let's jump right into this video. All right, guys. So as you can see, you can't really see me, but I'm right here. So this is the Jeep. I already had the Android Auto, not Android Auto. I already had the Apple CarPlay, well, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Normally it's going to be when you plug into your phone physically into it, but so I'm gonna unplug my normal cord that I use for my iPhone. I'm going to, uh, actually, I'm gonna just start the car up. Not even fully up, but instead of plugging my phone in, I'm gonna plug this guy in. So just normally, and then boop. Okay guys, so as you can see, I have now the device plugged up into the port that I would normally plug up for my uh, iPhone. So it is actually registering that there is a Apple CarPlay device that you need to, uh, that it can connect to. So when I go to there, it is pulling this guy up. So this is actually the device and not my phone. If you're wondering, phone's right here. So it actually enables more items. So the cool thing is though, now that this is set up, it is its own device. So there's actually more apps that you can actually run that you can't normally run off of your phone. So with that in mind, I can actually connect this to my actual phone if I wanted to. So as you can see though, there's actually a lot of apps that you can do. You can even plug it up to YouTube, which I would not advise doing while you are driving. But it is a feature that you can actually do. Now I do know whenever we go overlanding or do like big road trips and stuff like that, I normally have my iPad set up over here uh, just to have a, another screen, especially for like the passenger or if we're going off-roading, sometimes I will have my navigation will be on the iPad. Uh, I guess potentially with this device, I wouldn't need to have an extra device. My normal setup is like I will have my iPhone will kind of be sit, it'll be sitting up in this slot here. I'll have this, this I'll have, uh, you know, this screen and then sometimes I'll have my iPad going. But I guess this actual device would eliminate some of that clutter if I really wanted to run all of that. So this is actually a really nice upgrade that you can do to your, uh, you know, factory infotainment system without having to do anything crazy and i mean this thing is actually pretty responsive and everything like that i mean look there's even like netflix on here once again i would not do it while you are actually uh <laughs> you know operating the vehicle but this is features that you can't unlock and that you can have for your passenger and stuff like that so normally you just have to like hook it up to your actual uh you know wi-fi or i believe you can tether it to your phone's um, 3G, you know, system. So interesting about this device, it actually works in a way that you can use uh, wireless CarPlay, which is actually really cool. So, you know, like before, like I said, I would have to have it plugged in physically, but with here, I can actually run my music and everything wirelessly. So that's actually like a really cool feature that, uh, you know, if you didn't have before, this device will help unlock that extra feature for you. So overall though, I think this device is actually a really cool, interesting device. The cool thing about this though, it's pretty small, pretty cam compact. I can actually just slip it down there, underneath there, just kind of like leave it plugged up if I want to, or if I want to, I can just unplug it, put it inside the glove box. I do know though, this device, it needs to charge up. It takes it a second to boot up once it's plugged up to power. But once it's like connected to power for like a while, as soon as you start your car up, it'll start up instantly. But this is just like a quick little mini review of this product though if you're interested you can check it out below but overall though i will say you know for a device that uh you know is small and compact it actually gives you a lot of features that helps you unlock more features to your factory infotainment system